Hello. Every time I see a review on the best point and shoot cameras, uh, there's always two uh, that, that are brought up. The, the Canon G7 and the Sony RX100. And those are the two that are, you know, always reviewed. Well, when I wanted a point and shoot, I did a lot of research. I went a different direction. I went with the Panasonic ZS70. And uh, I love it. It's got uh, all of the features that I wanted. And uh, I personally prefer Panasonic for video. I think I get a better image from the Panasonic cameras that I've owned uh, than I have from uh, Nikon or even Canon. It's a very nice little point and shoot camera. Uh, I have a mount here to go on my Joby Gorillapod uh, so I can carry it around, do some vlogging. Instead of holding it in my hand, I can put it on my Gorillapod, use it as a tripod if I need to. Uh, but what I love about the camera is that uh, not only does it have all of the features that I want, um, the software is really nice. I love Panasonic's user interface. It's just so wonderful to use. Now the uh, the the Canon G7 goes for around five hundred dollars, uh, but you're only getting 1080 video with the Canon. Uh, if you want 4K video, the uh, Sony RX100 uh, does 4K video, but you're going to pay double the price. You're going to pay about a thousand dollars. Now the Panasonic Lumix. The nice one here is about $500. The price is comparable to the Canon, and it does 4K video. It just, it's wonderful. The image is just absolutely stunning, and it takes incredible photographs. The photographs are just out of this world. And another nice feature that every vlogger wants, the pop-up screen. Uh, it has uh, a lot of nice, a lot of wonderful features. Um, it has touch touch to focus, but the autofocus in movie mode and in picture mode is incredibly fast and accurate. I've never had a problem with it. Um, I just, I love this camera. It's just great. Uh, the battery life is phenomenal. I can, I've got uh, three batteries. I have three batteries for all of my cameras, and but I can use one battery in this pretty much all day. I mean, it depends on how much time you have it on, but um, for a normal day running around shooting video clips, I can run all day on a battery. Um, there are a lot of times I go two or three days before changing a battery. Um, the flip screen is really nice, um, and it's got a, a nice, a wide enough field of view that it looks natural. I mean, it's not all pressed up on my face when I'm talking. Um, you know, nice field of view. Um, you can also switch to manual and it's got a lot of nice manual features. You can control the aperture, you can control the uh, white balance. Um, it's just really, really nice. And it bothers me that this isn't reviewed with the other two. It's, I've, all of the videos that I've seen is always the other two. And they never include the Panasonic, and the Panasonic is a really nice camera. And uh, it's also got, besides the uh, touch screen, it's also got a built-in viewfinder. When you put it up to your face, the little sensor will turn off the screen and you'll switch to the electronic viewfinder. Um, for those who like to use the viewfinder, I do occasionally. So, I mean, it's got all of the features that I've seen on other cameras reviewed, but nobody seems to review this one. And I like it. I like it a lot. And like I said, the, uh, the software is a big point to me. Um, the software interface where you're going to change your settings, um, even looking at the screen, um, I can set up grid lines, I can set up level indicators, uh, it shows me all of the information. I don't know if you can see that there. But it'll show me all of the information that I need while I'm using the camera. It's very easy to use. The one thing that I don't like about it 
is it's not that great in low light uh, but if you're in a a room that's uh, fairly well lit I mean the room I'm in is just normal normal lighting um, and it does very well in here I mean the video that it takes in here and the pictures that it would take in here are very crisp very clear very well lit um, but if the room is dark you're not going to get very much it's it's not going to do very well in low light or outside in the dark but I mean let's face it if you if you're sitting alone in the dark pointing a camera at yourself that's a little creepy anyway so turn on a light and you'll be fine but uh, yeah I mean I haven't found anything about this camera really that I that I don't like it does the job it does it really well uh, oh the sound the sound is really really good I mean, I was not expecting a sound this good from a point and shoot. I mean, and let's face it, you, you really don't expect much from a point and shoot with the, the built-in microphones. But these, it has two microphones on the top, and the sound is really nice. Um, I mean, I just, I can't find any complaints. So, next time you're thinking about a point and shoot, think about the Panasonic. It's a good camera.